Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm Darren, welcome to another G-Pole tutorial. And today, we'll teach you how to set up a RecFest server. So, the first thing you want to do is log into the website and click on My Servers. Click on the plus symbol and click Add Server. It will take a couple of minutes depending on whatever you've got going. In the meantime, go over to steamid.finder and put in your username and click find Steam ID. Take note of the 64 ID. Over here, back at the Gport website, we're going to type in Wreckfest, choose the amount of slots that we want, and click add. Once that's set up, it will look like this. Next, click on basic settings, and from here, we will set up the server. Make sure the server is offline. Under server name, change whatever you want. How many players you want from how many players you set up your server for, the server password, the welcome message. So under start track will basically be the starting track that your server will start on. You can change this in game to whatever track you want. So don't worry. It would just be the starting track. If you want to enable your server to be joinable via click play, uh, quick play, then just enable this. If you want to leave it off, people will be able to join. So if you want to turn, stop people joining your server via the quick play option, that's how you do it. To clear user privileges every time the server restarts, enable this. That is up to you though. Owner privileges and the first player to join the server gets owner privilege or doesn't receive owner privilege. That is up to you. I usually just leave it as is. For admin control, the minute you as the admin set yourself as ready, the server starts. So we start a 30 second countdown. Here you can set that lobby countdown. For this one here, if you have 10 players on your server, you can hold 10 players and you have 10, it will take five of them to get ready. So put 50, so the percentage of 10, you know. Um, so what you wanna do, if you only have five people on your server, then you would put it to like 2.5 and so on and so forth. For the admin list, you would go and get your Steam ID that we just seen here and copy and paste it into there. For operator list, if you have friends and who want moderator privileges, you would ask them for their Steam profile name and copy their Steam64 ID as well and put it in there and separate it with a comma for every time you do it. Enable track vote. If you want players to vote on the next track that's going to be available, make sure this is enabled. For the game mode, uh, it's up to you. You have racing, derby, deathmatch, uh, team derby, team race, and elimination. We like our derbies, so we'll be leaving the derby deathmatch on. How many bots your server can have? So if you have 10 players, put in 10. That way it will always have and fill the required spots. Set your bot difficulty if that's what you want. The number of teams. So in deathmatch you can have up to, I think it's four teams. So split the numbers equally. I will leave that as two, so it's five aside. How many laps you can do in race mode, that is up to you if you want to have it the free, which is standard, or put it all the way up to 60 laps, which might take a while, but that is really up to you. The time limit in minutes, how long it takes to finish a race. The limit, but make sure if you're doing 60, put this up to like, say 120 minutes, you know, otherwise people won't be able to finish the race. Elimination interval. Um, this is for elimination race, 0, 20, 30, 20, uh, 45, 60, 90, and 120, or like hashtag zero elimination each lap. So 20 dash 120 equals 100 elimination time in seconds. So it's 120 to 120 seconds per elimination. For vehicle damage, that's up to you. I like to keep mine as realistic. Car clash restriction. Um, so if for example, you want everybody to be in a C-class vehicle, there you go. For, uh, for car restriction, uh, only, 
only allow one Pacific car. The list of cars are command hashtag leave blank for no, you know, so just leave it blank if you don't want to do that. You can also set this in game as well. Disable or you the use of special vehicles. That is up to you as well. You can also set this in game. Um, car, disable car reset. You can also do this in game as well. Um, the delay as well for the reset and disable speed limiter. So if let's say for example I want I'm a crap driver uh, like um, which I am and I drive the other way around the track then you know it will stop that the weather um so you can set the name of weathers in game but you can actually google this and stuff and also if you want to mod the server you can get the mods online and add them in here I haven't tried this part myself, so we can cover that in a different video. Once done, click save. And then turn your server back online. Give it a refresh and everything should change. Thank you very much for watching another G Portal tutorial. Um, I'm Dare. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys all in the next video. If you have any suggestions or need help with setting up anything, don't forget to just leave me a comment and I'll try and see what I can do to help you out. If you have any issues with G Portal, contact the G Portal support team. Thanks very much for watching guys and you have a good day.